Hey, welcome back to the garage. Hey, this is for all you OCD people like me. Um, I had a couple alignments done on the car and I know that the alignment tech didn't replace these bolts. These bolts are torqued to yield. They're only supposed to be used once. So, you know they torque them down really tight. Well, I bought the bolts and the nuts. These are top lock nuts. I've talked about them before. Um, and I want to replace them, but I don't want to mess up the alignment. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Get an awl or something sharp. And get a lot of light over here. And we're going to scratch a line right where the black meets the silver. So we can see if this thing moves. They actually tell you to do this in the service manual. There, I got a nice sharp line, really easy to see. So I can see if that moves. What I'm going to do now is pull one of these out, doesn't matter, top or bottom. I'm going to take nut out, pull the bolt out, and replace this one, torque it, and turn it. So I believe these are 24 millimeter. They feel kind of sloppy. I found a 15 16 feels a lot better. So that's what I'm using. So this is a ZL1. Um, pretty sure it's the same for the SS and, and the RS. I'm not totally positive, but I'll look into it. So the nut part number is a 11516383. The bolt part number is a 11589370. I got these off of gmpartsdirect.com. So I just buzz that down until it touched. Now we're going to torque it. All the Camaros 5th gen. There's your torque spec. That's where they show where they made the alignment mark. They're just making sure you line it back up. This was for a complete strut removal in the book. That's why they had you mark that. So, uh, so you could be sure to replace it for your customers so they I guess so they don't have to get an alignment. I probably still have it checked. Now that we got that tight to 59 foot pounds, we're gonna uh, rotate the nut 180 degrees. Now you don't need the fancy dial on this, it's really simple. You just mark a line with your pen. I'm just going to do it right off the bolt because really that's what we're doing. We're torquing the nut to the bolt. I'm just going to take and mark the nut and the bolt right on the top like that. Now I'm going to go straight on the bottom and I'm going to make another mark on the nut directly across from this one, 180 degrees. And all you got to do is turn that black mark on the bottom up to this black mark on the bolt and you're done and go to the next one. That's saying 180. I can see I got a little bit left to go. So a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit more. So hopefully you can see the black line on the bolt lining up with the black dot on the nut. That was the dot from the bottom of the nut. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and mark that with some paint. Double checking that scribe right in there. That scribe that I did, you can see the silver line right there. It hasn't moved, so that's good. You don't want it moving. That means it didn't move putting that bolt in. So what I'm gonna do, so I can keep an eye on this, A paint mark on that nut and that bolt on both sides that'll tell me next time I'm in here whether those moved I don't expect to see those paint marks move that's the first one we do it to the second one, the same exact way. And we put the wheel back on. This wheel, because the blue torques to 122 foot-pounds, if there's silver, it's 140. I believe the silver is Z28, but I'm not positive. 